Hi, I'm Tom with BFID channel and in this video I will show you the results of my tests of CAD imports into Revit 2023. Autodesk promotes enhanced mesh capabilities in Revit 2023 and at the first sight I was quite intrigued by the new feature of hiding internal edges because showing the whole mesh is a sore point when trying to import CAD models into Revit. Autodesk didn't provide much information about this new feature, so I created few test files in several CAD formats and imported them into Revit LT 2023. Let's now go through my test results. First, let's take a look at STL, Stereolithography Format Import. This file format shows internal mesh edges all the time. There's no difference between Revit 2022 and 2023. Second, let's take a look at OBJ, Wavefront Format Import. This seems from my testing as the only file format that has been worked on in this regard. When the surface is not smooth, internal edges are shown, but that makes sense. But you can see that when the mesh is smooth, I use Blender as the software of origin for this file. So when the OBJ surface is smooth, it doesn't show the internal mesh. Not in 3D view and not in 2D views as you can see here. This is the desirable behavior of CAD imports. Luckily, a lot of design software packages have option to export to OBJ file format so this is very useful new feature. Next is Formit AXM import. Formit is developed by Autodesk, so it had hidden internal mesh already in previous Revit versions, so no change here. I tried to export to STL and OBJ file formats from Formit. The result is undesirable with internal mesh visible. DWG format import is very variable because it depends on how the mesh was created in AutoCAD. In my short testing, I saw no difference between Revit 2022 and Revit 2023 imports. Your mileage may vary with DWG imports, it depends on the file. I was hopeful that SketchUp imports would also show no internal mesh, but there seems to be no improvement all internal mesh is visible. There might be an option to do some trickery of exporting to OBJ from SketchUp, but I didn't try that. The second enhancement that Autodesk is promoting is the possibility of overriding graphics view and not only projection lines, which were previously also possible, but the surface color and surface pattern. But be careful, you can see here that I'm not able to change the surface color or surface pattern of my CAD imports. And why is that? I'm only possible to change projection lines. It is because when I was inserting my CAD files, I used the link CAD option and you can change the surface pattern and color only to the imported CAD. So if I delete this import and import CAD, import this file, let's import it. This one is imported. And here, if I go to override graphics in view by element, you can see that I can change the surface pattern, foreground, background, and I can change also the color. So I'll change it to red. So this is possible only to imported CAD, not to link CAD. To sum my testing up, the only mesh visibility improvements that my testing revealed is with OBJ file format. It's nice that Autodesk recognizes the problem with displaying mesh and hopefully we'll see further improvements in new versions of Revit. If my testing provided new information for you, smash that like button and take care.